Fox Tale is at Overture this weekend. That's right. Our Michael Bruno got to sit down with some of the cast members at a perfect location, that being the Italian Workmen's Club on Regent Street. Forget about it. <laughs> the Bronx Tale has been described as a cross between the Jersey Boys and West Side Story. Here is Michael Bruno going backstage. Well, sort of. It's 3 a.m. in the Bronx, New York. I'm on the corner of 187th and Belmont Avenue. This was my neighborhood. This is a Bronx tale. The story is about a, a young boy who witnesses a murder outside of his apartment uh, when he's nine years old. Um, and he decides not to uh, rat out the mob boss who, uh, who did the killing. And so the mob boss uh, befriends him, sort of takes him under his wing, much to the chagrin of his father, who I play. Um, and it's sort of this, you know, struggle for this, this young man's future between these two worlds, his family that loves him very, very much, and, and, and the, uh, the, the mob life that's glamorous and, and that he sees as a possible future. But at the end of the day, it's a story about family, it's a story about love, um, and uh, Chaz Palminteri, who wrote the show, and, and, and it's actually based on his life story. When he was nine years old, he actually witnessed the killing, and so uh, he, he said that the story is really about two things, you know, that he wanted to get across, that the choices you make will shape your life forever. And the saddest thing in life is wasted talent. And so you obviously, obviously play husband and wife in the show. Yes. And are you both of Italian heritage? That's right. So yes. everything came pretty easily for you when the, course, all the vowels and all the all the uh, yeah. all the. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we grew up in. Well, I grew up in New York. She, you grew up in Connecticut. Connecticut so yeah. it's like it's close, you know. Talk to me just a little bit about about the music in the show. Because there's, there's there's such a broad spectrum of music in this. Obviously, it's there's the you know there's the great doo wop in there, but there's also some really beautiful uh, love ballads and, and really nice songs in there. Yeah, I mean, Alan is the best. And what I say is that he's created a soundscape for the show because you really feel like you're transported back to the 60s in in that neighborhood, and that was really important to uh, you know uh, Jerry Zaks and Bob De Niro. Um, that when you came into this theater and came into the show, you really felt like you were part of the neighborhood. So I have to ask you the big controversial question because it came up last night when, or the other night when I saw the show. It's like sauce or gravy? I know. We, uh, it depends on where you are. Like I was telling you the story when I was in Chicago and I was, you know, out in the lobby after the show. I mean, women came up to me and said, what are you talking about sauce? It's gravy. It's always gravy. You tell Chaz it's gravy, but... It, I, I grew up with sauce. I grew up with sauce as yeah. well. And I think it was a discussion when they were writing the show. It was. Like, do we use gravy? Do we use sauce? Well, it just, it, I mean, also, just literally from a writing standpoint, it sounds better. You know how to make sauce? As was it, you know how to make gravy? It's just, it doesn't have the the flow, you know, that sauce has. It's not as funny. It doesn't come off as funny. Uh, and so... But we do know, apologize to our gravy to, people. To we all we the gravy get that people. that's a thing. We understand it and we but respect it, is, it. Yeah. But in our show, because it sounds pretty, we yeah. use sauce. Sales at the Overture Center tonight at 8 o'clock. Some tickets are still available. Tomorrow at 2 and 8, Sunday at 1 and 6.30. Go to Overture.org. And we learned something about the great sauce gravy debate I today. Did, I, is it gravy or is it sauce? I, it, I've it? never... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to do some more research I on guess. this and get back to you.